All right, so we're going to look at some information on this tire and review what all of the information is that we need to know on the tire. Here's the first thing. This is the make of the tire. This is who manufactures this. This is a Falcon tire. Um, and usually we'll have a model number. Uh, that model number happens to be on the other side. I'm just going to rotate this around. And the model is a ZIEX ZE512. That's the model. And because Falcon makes a lot of different tires, so this is, happens just to be what brand or what model of tire they have here. Uh, right down below that, though, we've got the DOT number, and again, this gives us information about the tire, where it was made, the company who made it, when it was manufactured, and the date. Again, there's our date right here, 5111. So the date on this would be the 51st week of 2011 that these tires were made of the manufacturer. Here we have what the tire is made out of, okay, the plies. On the side wall we have one polyester. Okay, and then the tread we've got one polyester, two steel, and one nylon that are part of the tread there. Right, fly sidewall, one polyester, and then the tread, one polyester, two steel, and one nylon. As we come around some more, uh, we have our tire size. Okay, this one happens to be a 205 65R15. Okay, and again, a 205 is our the width of the of the tire in millimeters and then the sidewall is a 65 percent height of the width of the tire and the R is the type of tire and this is a radial tire and the 15 is what kind of wheel this fits on it fits on a 15 inch wheel now over here we also have a 94 H okay the 94 is the load rating how much weight this tire can take and the H is a, is the speed rating how fast this tire can spin for an extended amount of time before it will start to break down and it has a rating of H. The last two are M and S, uh, M plus S. M plus S means mud plus snow. It means these tires can work in mud and snow. Um, they're not snow tires, those are different types of tires, but uh, these would be okay if you happen to be hit some, some mud and snow. Up on top here, uh, we also have three things. We've got our tread wear, our traction, and our temperature. Okay, and then a rating by each. Our tread wear is how long these tires should last, and they have a rating of 420. Our traction, uh, we have a rating of either A, B, or C. This is how they perform in wet weather, in, in wet conditions, and this has a rating of A. And then temperature, how well these tires are able to dissipate heat. And again, it's based on an A, B, and C system, and these are an A. Okay. Right below that, we also have what it is. It's written in text, right? Tubeless. And this is a steel belted radial tire. It's printed on the tire itself. Uh, we also have some safety warnings. And this is really small. We're not going to be able to see this on the video. But one thing it does say is that we, when we seat the bead or mount this tire on the wheel, we never go above 40 PSI when we're mounting this to the wheel. Uh, we make sure that we're under 40 PSI. If we have a problem, um, then we go about it a little bit different way. But we never go above 40 PSI to seat the bead onto the wheel. Uh, up here we have a rotation of the tire. That means it needs to spin this way towards the front of the car. Uh, we need to make sure the rotation is going the right direction uh, when we install tires. Um, we need to make a note of that. And down below we have our max load, which is uh, 1,477 pounds for this tire at a pressure of uh, 51 PSI. I'm going to zoom in. 
a little closer there, 51 PSI. So that's the maximum we can put these tires at. If we go any higher than that, uh, we're going to have a problem. Uh, we don't want to run these at 51 PSI. What we want to run these tires at is whatever the sticker says on inside the driver's door or it says in our owner's manual um, to give us the best wear of our tire and give us the most comfortable ride. Can we run them at 51 PSI? Yes. Uh, should we run them at 51 PSI? No. Uh, it's going to wear out the center of the tire prematurely and it's going to give us a much harder ride when we're driving this car at, at that pressure. Um, we should be running these at what the manufacturer suggests. Now we can run them at 51 PSI if we need to go all the way up to 1,477 pounds. Um, that is possible, but as a general rule, we want to keep these at uh, whatever the door sticker says.